The Chamber of Commerce hosted an executive luncheon in conjunction with the St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority in an effort to educate its members on the proposed Uranora Airport Redevelopment Project. The Chamber's Executive Director, Brian Luizzi, suggested that given the project has been a matter for discussion for quite a while, the private sector would have expected more progress than currently is the case. I think we should get, we would like to see some um, definitive information as the start, um, definitive information as to how the process will emerge and develop in terms of people getting opportunities to um, get um, business and work from the contract, from the process. But also, I think we're interested in the extent of the development and how it is expected to impact the business community in the south in the first instance, and secondly, um, in the north, in the wider area of St. Lucia. Acting General Manager for SLASPA, Darren Snack, explained that the event is only one part of their continuing stakeholder consultations meant to quell common misconceptions. The perception is that it is only a terminal building and an airport, an airport redevelopment has many different facets, um, comprises of, and I'll not let you in now, but I'll wait for the presentation, but it is a lot more involved than just a terminal building. Um, so part of it for us is educating the membership of the Chamber of Commerce, clarifying um, some of the things that they may or may not know. And I think we're really looking forward to a very good engagement with the private sector um, on this very important national project. It's not a SLASPA project, it's a national project. It's a national asset, and I guess that's why there's just so much interest in the project. But that's principally why. According to Snack, one such misconception is that the project will be financed by the public. However, that is not the case. Maybe I can just indicate to you that 85%, more than 85% of the persons who traverse the airport are visitors to our shores. So you actually have an opportunity where the visitor to your country is paying for your project. And that project is being financed solely by an airport development charge. Solely. The US $45, and there is an entire act which goes to govern how those monies are, uh, are spent has his own auditing, um, so it is well devised to allow for um, a good audit trail in use of the funds. Invitations to the luncheon were extended specifically to business persons operating in the south of the island, aviation specialists, hoteliers, general contractors and individuals interested in the commercial development of Ufort. For Choice News Now, I am Lovey Spooner reporting.